You know, that's what we have out there. You know, high level competition. You know, guys is passionate. Let's put on this song in front of our fans, bro. And guys just taking, you know, the experience that we had last year and um, you know, just learning off, you know, learning off of it. Um, you know, I think the greatest thing moving forward is having making mistakes before. And uh, you can learn from those mistakes if you can talk about it and hold each other accountable. Um, you know, I've been a part of good defenses and you know last year was a good defense. You know, even though we had a lot of ups and downs, you know, it was a good defense. You know what I mean? We had a lot of good guys, a lot of guys making plays. Anytime we come back to the meeting room, come off the practice field and hold each other accountable, that's what you want to see. And you know, that's what it's about now. Um, just building off what we did last year, building off the good things, building off the things that we know we can get better with. Because a lot of areas we still can grow. This is going to be special. These fans are going to love you, and you're going to love them, and we're going to win a lot of championships together. That's what's going to set it apart. Oh, look at the pressure. Third down and nine as a result of the first two plays. And that was set. there to keep it away from Brisker. Beautifully done. Goff under pressure and it's negated with a 10-yard sack. How about the power of Montez Sweat? It commands respect from this offense and everybody else gets one-on-one matchup. Here comes that pressure on Flacco. Chase from behind and Flacco.
by Jermaine Edmonds. Bears cushion coverage of the top tight end. And here comes the blitz. Took Tory Taylor, one of the best punters I've ever seen. I know an average, you know, last year was the high was uh, 5.8 a game, you know, with uh, 99 punts. I was always pretty confident um, that I was going to get drafted. It was really just a matter of how high. Those things count. You can flip the field on those. Uh, the punt pins are huge. And um, you know this guy's uh, this guy's a big talent. handle things the way things need to be handled. Love on the keeper, flip it out. Reed gets checked. Oh my. Coming up to Phil. Right there, number 29, Stevenson. Second down, golf in the face of pressure. Take the day at a time and understanding that, you know, it's a long season. You know what I mean? It's, it's a journey. And um, you can't get caught up in, you know, the outside noise of what's going on that we can't control. You really only control what you can control, and that's how you show up each and every Now day. he's got an interception and a forced fumble. So we all was learning something. We all was going through some of the same things. And we all kind of went through adversity together as a team. And, um, you know, we stayed together. You know, those guys trusted me. I trusted in those guys. Looking over the middle, and it's intercepted! Picked off! The overlap or dividing corner. He played both seams. By Tyreek Stevenson! He gets it right back for the Bears! And ultimately, we came out there and just, you know, we wanted to win. And uh, each and every day, no matter if it went good, no matter if we went bad, we came back the next day wanting to get better. Um, I think it's just about like looking at yourself in the mirror and understanding like the areas that you got to get better with and like not shying away from that. Um, I think that's the number one thing. So my advice is 
if I had to give advice to anybody, man, it's just to take the good days with the good days, the bad days with the bad days, but, you know, sunshine always gonna be there, so you just gotta keep going, man, rely on your teammates, and, uh, like, this connection you're building now, those will be the ones that help you get through those tough times. 18 after the sack. Boyer over the middle. I grew up a Bears fan. This is everything I've wanted since I was a little kid. Yeah, you know, I feel really good right now. I'm ready to get to work. I'm just so excited. Caleb actually just texted me a little bit ago, so uh, you know I'm, I'm excited to get to work with all with all the guys. Put it on the line what we both want from you know each other, um, and that's the absolute best. It's uh, hard work. It's it's effort. It's it's uh, you know nothing short of excellence. You got athleticism, power. Um, you know, those are those are kind of my superpowers. I feel like on the field. I get to stay home. I get to do with the team that I've loved ever since I was six years old. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really excited.
Bears, to me, succeeded in making Chicago a place that has has the requisite pieces yep. to have a young quarterback be successful.
Fields looking his way, throwing that way. There's target one and catch one, and more break. Bears catch. Yeah, nice job there using motion to get him in space, and after the catch is... Fields, quick drop throw, more in stride, breaks another tackle, he's inside the 10. Play action on the first play, the Fields well protected. throw down the field to DJ Moore. Yeah, and the pressure coming. Fields to cover DJ Moore. Look at the distance that Devin White has to travel from that inside linebacker. Pizza to the sideline. DJ Moore down the sideline. First and goal. Don't worry about how many possessions you have left in the game. Fields well protected. Just a big in route coming from the outside right there. Jamel Dean gets turned around. Tips one to a wide open DJ Moore. Just need to build that consistency. I mean, he's actually drifting. Moore is loose. DJ Moore. Great job by DJ Moore, kind of using his right arm to fend off Watson, the defender, and secure the catch with his left. Yeah, nice job here. Just a simple slant route. Throw to 15. Cooper's coming. Field throws. And it's caught by DJ Moore. Slips a couple of tackles. Ninth play of the drive. First down. Seven. Bajan on the run. Throws on the wow. sideline. Taylor was the motion man on third and five. Bajan looking that direction finds DJ Moore.
fake. Fields climbing the pocket. Stepping up and sidearm slings to DJ Moore. Oh, wow, Lions are bringing the howl. Oh, here man to man, everybody's coming here. And Fields throws underneath. DJ Moore gets and more fighting for the first down. And he was he was counting six points. Instead, back to work he goes and DJ Moore. Fields lets it go, DJ Moore! You can see the pocket that, that Fields has in the time, and he just sets up and... DJ Moore has only run the ball one time this year. He's gonna fake it to... On the, uh, Jones on the outside, running up there, getting to Fields, and running for a second time this year, and, and he got the jump. It's a free play. Fields for Moore! Got him! Touchdown! Play, missed opportunity. Third and three, Fields down the sideline to D.J. Moore, who can 11 Browns rush four. Fields over the middle, there's D.J. Moore with the missed field goal. Justin Fields to work, has D.J. Moore in. And goal, Fields flings, back corner, no spot, and he just outruns him to the pylon. What a this is one heck of a catch for a receiver when you go over your left shoulder. Pocket has Moore crossing around in strides. Tiff Yarn over the middle. Moore again. That is catch number nine down the sideline. Yes, sir. Me and my role has been pretty consistent through through the years, I feel like. I mean, again, I take what I do very seriously. I have a lot of pride in what I do. First and 10. O'Connell going deep, and it's intercepted again, Jalen Johnson. It's a blessing just to see how far I feel like we've came. Um, I think to just last year, leaving a lot on the table early in the season, and now being able to pick off where we left off at last year, I think it is a good feeling. I feel like even adding of course, Kevin coming in here and adding his veteran um, IQ to the game, just calling out things, allowing us to play faster, us being on the same page. I feel like for me, it's too, having him now instead of Eddie, I feel like it's been a very smooth transition. Just coming in and building and talking about how we want to play certain things, how he sees it. I mean, we see a lot of the games the same way. So I think just on that part and then just also to getting everybody back together, back, like I said, back where we left off at. So I mean, it's a lot of energy out there for us to have. And I think we can definitely take it up a few not this year. And we're going to have a good offense to go against to make us better. So I think we're very excited for the opportunity. And it's intercepted, picked off by Jalen Johnson. Johnson untouched. <laughs> going to sling it right.
it from 57 on the left. Hash angle right, wind blowing left to right on the stick. <clears throat> Defense. They got good players on offense. It's pretty exciting, you know, if you could go into a situation like that. I like to think that when it's time to be surgical, you, you know, it's, it's time to be surgical. You know, there's been many games where uh, it gets late in the game and, and, I, and I ran or scrambled and, you know, threw a crazy pass. That's, that's been the artist, the magician. Um, and, then, and then, you know, there's been times where even, you know, when I hurt my hamstring and I couldn't run, um, I sat in the pocket the whole time, you know, the rest of the game and, and delivered the ball. It's important to be in the pocket. It's part of the game. It's also important to be out of the pocket. He's one of these one-cut slasher type running backs. Lions start from the 43 here, Swift. Look at the vision and the burst. And Swift breaks three inside the 30. running by DeAndre Swift. Here's Swift. Still going. Making some people miss. Cut back. I thought for a minute there he was gone. DeAndre being cut back. going to crack he gets the safety right there and that opens up the hole for deandre swift and it is deandre swift with a first down and more down inside the philadelphia 30 yard line to the outside and then to the inside Touch.
the slot to the left. Pressure's coming. Tannehill breaks free. He was hitting the helmet. He throws to the end zone. Touchdown. One toward the end zone. Keenan Allen. Herbert 8 of 13 to the end zone. Touchdown. Here's Allen. Touchdown, Chargers. At the Lions, 30. needs to be on a rope. One of the big one. To the end zone! What a throw! Amazing. Everyone blocks. It's a one-guy route with one guy coming underneath. It's over the top. The pass. Perfect. Keenan Allen cuts back to the middle. He's going to find his way home. Herbert. Pressure in his face, throws. Oh, get out of here. And Allen's got it for a Charger touchdown.